Hallelujah. I'd like to remind you this is the day that the Lord has made. I hope you have made up your mind to rejoice and be glad in it. Earlier on in this service, we heard that the psalmist said, I was glad when they said, let us go to the house of the Lord. You are in the house of God already and in the presence of God there is fullness of joy and at his right hand are pleasures forevermore. By the time you are returning home tonight, your joy will overflow in the name of Jesus. Somebody ready with hunger in their hearts for an encounter with the Holy Spirit tonight, shout hallelujah! Amen. I'd like us to celebrate together as we invite the following people to come up stage to come and testify of God's faithfulness and power in their lives. I'd like to call on Ife Olua Sunday. Can you please put your hands together for her? As she walks up stage, Victoria Unwokoro and Eradiri Yela Eri. I'll take that again. It fell Lua Sunday. Victoria Unwokoro and Eradiri Yela Eri. Please put your hands together for them as they walk up stage. While they are coming, I would like us to pay attention as we listen to the testimonies of God all around the world of what mighty things God is doing in the lives of his people. I'll be starting with that of Inyene, God Day. Inyene says, I joined Koinonia in October 2021. I was in desperate need of a job. I prayed and fasted all the while believing God. During the January 2022 miracle service, which was last month, I told God to give me a miracle job before February 2022 miracle service. God answered my prayers. I was called for an interview last week, Tuesday. That's a few days ago, 15th of February. I was given a job offer the day after Wednesday, 16th of February. And 18th, which was two days ago, Friday, I resumed a new job. The grace for speed is at work here. Can we join in any God Day to celebrate God for a miracle job? If you know that you are next in line for a miracle job, shout hallelujah. The next is that of Benga Ishola. Benga says, last week my wife informed me of our neighbor who was passing through severe pains and was scheduled for a surgery as there was a hole in our womb. The Holy Spirit told me to ask her two questions if she believed in Jesus, and if she preferred to be operated upon by Jesus. She answered in the affirmative, and I prayed for her using scriptures related to our healing as instructed by Apostle. As at yesterday, the pain had disappeared, and after two more scans, the results showed that she would not need a surgery anymore. Can we celebrate God for raising saviors in this house? You can celebrate him better than that. Hallelujah. The next is that of God's choice. God's choice says, I have had three different and painful pregnancy, pregnancy losses, I beg your pardon, through miscarriage. I got pregnant again last year in 2021. During the miracle service, I submitted my prayer request stating that I was asking the Lord to help me as I walk. successfully 
to God alone be the glory. Three weeks ago, I delivered a healthy baby. Not only was my process of delivery short, it was also sweet. Have you seen a sweet delivery before? We have one right here. Can we join us to celebrate the name of the Lord? If you are pregnant, get ready for supernatural delivery in the name of Jesus. The next is that of Isiche Emmanuel. Isiche says, I had two prayer points at the August Miracle Service of 2021, which were a successful delivery of my pregnant wife and success in my PhD defense. On the 7th of September, my wife put the birth a baby girl and on the same day I defended with an A grade my PhD project can we join him to celebrate the Lord the next is that of Carol this is coming from Washington DC United States in 2019 my family signed a three-year lease for a building previously used as a laundromat to open an international grocery store. The building renovation was very expensive, but we expected to recoup our expenses by 2020 when we opened the store. To their shock and surprise, 2020 came and pandemic hit. Business was very slow and we could not even keep up with the rent, utility bills and other payments. I then joined Koinonia Global March 2021 and kept asking God to help our family business. By December 1st, 2021, the economic development manager of my city walked into our store telling us about a new grant available to help businesses that were hit by the pandemic. Two weeks afterwards, I gathered all necessary documents and submitted an application. After two months of tensed waiting, I'm happy to announce that we have finally received a grant in tens of thousands of dollars. The check was handed to us by the same man who told us about it. Can we join them to celebrate God for relief from the heat of the pandemic? The next is that of Gossi. Gossi says, with a 20-year work experience in three different organizations, I have never been promoted in my work before. 20 years. The current job I'm in is an underemployment, which means it's a job that is below my qualifications. But I took the job because I just needed a job. One day, a position at work was available but they refused to open the position to me. I landed on a clip of Apostle Joshua Selman's message, and from then, I was listening to his messages day and night. Tell your neighbor, day and night. Don't forget, the Bible says that the righteous man meditates in the word of God day and night. My Christian life of 20 years of being born again changed drastically. God was no longer abstract. God became real to me. With intense prayers, the position finally opened to me. Satan then struck 
and I was disqualified at the shortlisting process. After December 2021 anointing service, my destiny helpers located me and brought an advice to me that I should appeal again. I was called to take the test that very same day I appealed. The test I took was so hard and difficult. I prayed a lot with apostles' messages. The message, grace called favor, brought the victory through to me showing me that I had a part to play. I studied for the interview, prayed for favor, sowed a seed, and attended Koinonia prayer meeting. I also added prayer and praise vigil. The interview was easy, and I was finally given an offer with a salary over half a million. Can we join him to celebrate God? It says here in Koinonia, I'm sure if you were the one that got that salary, you would celebrate God better than that. Can you celebrate the Lord? God is blessing us with good jobs here, and God is here. Can we celebrate God one more time for that testimony? The next is that of Olatunde. Olatunde says, I currently work for a multinational company that came at the instance of God's word through Apostle Selman's word of wisdom sometime in 2020. While on the job, I had opportunities for international trainings. Upon the renewal of my contract, I trusted the Lord for increase in salary and in different aspects of my life. January miracle service, which was last month, Apostle prophesied a week of supernatural increase. Lo and behold, that same week, my contract was renewed with over 50% increase. I now earn in seven digits. I hope you know what that means. Can you join him to celebrate God? That's monthly salary in seven digits. Secondly, within the week, I needed to see the doctor for examination. All medical investigations were pointing to high sugar, cholesterol, and high blood pressure. Apostle's declaration over us was, I remember, I beg your pardon, Apostle's declaration over us, and I began to meditate on those declarations. To my surprise, the following day, they took another set of investigations and they turned out that all my vitals had become normal. Can we join him to celebrate God? Supernatural increment on the job, divine healing at the point of, you know, taking some medical um, precautions. The next and the last one is Olawoye Omotayo. Olawoye says, I've been planning to move to Lagos, but I didn't want to leave Abuja until I'd gotten a job offer. Last week, Wednesday, 9th of February, I got a mail that I have been selected for the role I applied for and that they would like to have a virtual meeting the following day to discuss payment. Thursday came, I got a call and we discussed the payment they gave an offer of which I told them I wouldn't resume if they could not pay me a certain amount. And then the HR person said they were going to send me an offer letter that day. But they didn't. On Friday, I called again to remind him he hadn't sent the letter. And he said the management was still discussing the issue. I became nervous. And thoughts of losing the offer altogether started flooding my mind. During Koinonia service last week, Sunday, 13th of February, Apostle, while ministering, said, By this time tomorrow, concerning that job, immediately I heard that I jumped and shouted, Amen! Lo and behold, whoever was responsible for sending the offer letter couldn't wait for 24 hours. 11:14 p.m. on Sunday night. The mail arrived 
according to my desired salary. Can we join him to celebrate God for instant miracle? You are next in line for supernatural supply in the name of Jesus. Can we just take a time to praise God for confirming the words of his servant and for miracles and exploits in our midst and among us and in the lives of our brethren. Hallelujah. Amen. I'd like us to please pay attention to the following testimonies of our brethren. Your name, please, and your testimony. Good evening, Koinonia. Good evening. My name is Maria Sunday Felua, and I'm here to testify to the goodness of God upon my life. Yesterday, I was to meet with some group of people for evangelism. So on my way to the meeting, on my way to the meeting, I actually entered a car. I never knew they were kidnappers. On our way, a few minutes later, the guy sitting in front of the car chopped the seat on my leg to pin me down. And the one sitting beside me pinned my leg down on his lap and covered my face. That was when I realized I was kidnapped. I then began to shout the name Jesus, and I was struggling with them. So the guy that pinned my head down said I should stop shouting and I should better behave because so that I won't die another person's death. That was this, his statement. He now told me that there is a certain, a particular person they were looking for and I should better pray that I'm not the person because if I'm the one, I'm dead already. He now, he asked of my name, which I told him in, in full because I was so scared. A few minutes later, they, be, they began to speak some language that does not look like an Niger, Nigerian language at all. After some minutes, he told me that I should thank my God because my name is not on that list. They collected my phone and gave me back my SIM card. They also collected the cash with me and gave me back some money for transport. So they dropped me and I went, I went for the evangelism. But this is the most important part. When I got home later in the evening and I began to pray and asking God, why all this? And I actually asked God, what exactly is the list all about? And then I heard in my spirit that when your name is in the book of life, that same name cannot be found in the book of death and destruction. Hallelujah. For so, you know, I taste to serve Jesus. Can we join if you want to celebrate Jesus. God for preservation of our life and deliverance from the hands of wicked men? Hallelujah. He has promised to preserve our going out and our coming in and satisfy us with long life. One more time, can we shout hallelujah? I actually want to appreciate God. I actually want to thank God for his mercies, his grace upon my life. I'm actually Victor Woko. I actually want to thank God for my Apostle Good Heart, Equimi. And also I want to thank God for Apostle Joshua Seman, there was a word he spoke to me last, he spoke last year, and that last year was a season of my life that I was confused, I never knew where to go to, I never knew where to head to, I had to like, okay, to go back to my vomit, but the word of God spoke, was what that the servant spoke to Apostle Seman about uh, property and something like that, and a, lot, a friend of mine, I, I, I forgot him, he stood outside the country. We met last year in a pronounced uh, property establishment. We met last year when I was actually confused where to start from. And he met me and said, Victor, what are you doing? I said, I'm not doing anything. And from there, it's a long story. He linked me up to a property estate business. And as I'm speaking to you now, I actually want to glorify God for really making it possible. For me to bounce back. And I also thank God for this altar. And I also appreciate God for Apostle Good Heart and Apostle Joshua Seman. And all the glory belongs to God. And we join him to celebrate God. His finances were down. God linked him up with a real estate company. And now he's been making sales and making good profits. His finances have been turned around. Can we join him to celebrate the name of the Lord? Good evening.
evening, Koinonia. Good evening. My name is Eraju Yelare. Um, my first physical service was October uh, Miracle Service. And then I came and I wrote down my prayer request. I actually applied for a training to further my career here in Abuja. But the institute, everybody told me that it was really hard for anybody to get um, space there, that my sure I really want to go. I got a lot of discouragement, but then I said I was going to go because God led me to Abuja. So I came and then I registered. Um, I went, the over 400 people applied. They called over 300 to come and write the exam. On the day of the exam, they told us they would pick only 25 people <laughs> from my own profession. And I was like, my God, 25. But then there was someone sitting beside me and she asked me, how many places have you applied to? And I told her just here. And then she was like, I don't know, okay, after now, where will you apply again? I said, I won't apply again. And she was like, why? I said, because I will get this place. And then she laughed. She was laughing so hard. And then she tapped the person next to her and said, she said she's not applying anywhere else. And I told her that I was going to get it. But then at a point, I started feeling pressure. And then I started doubting. <laughs> and then I came to church and someone came to give her testimony. And she said that she applied somewhere and then Apostle said something. He said that if they are going to take 10 people, you should believe you're number one. And then I said, that was for me. So I went back home and I told God, God, I am number one. I don't care how they want to do it. I am number one. I waited three months. Even my friends kept asking me, are you sure you don't want to come back home? I said, I'm not coming back. And then just the day before yesterday, I was just in the house. And then I got a text. <laughs> And then I opened it, I was like, who is this? And then I checked, and then I saw that they've already picked me as one of the people that were part of the Sinspire people. So I just want to give God the praise because it's for the Hallelujah. In the midst of a crowd, God singled her out for distinction. God confirmed the words of his servants in her life and in the lives of several others. Koinonia, can we lift our voices in praise and adoration of this great God? Confirming words of healing. Confirming words of supernatural increment in jobs. Confirming words of miracle jobs. Preserving his own from the hands of wicked and unreal.